Hey guys, welcome back for another tutorial on the embroidery textures things. Uh, somebody in my Discord asked for a centerpiece to demonstration, so this is how I personally do the centerpieces. This is no way the right way to do it. This is just the way I do it. I've got great results with it. Yeah, let's get right into it. So this is the image I've chosen. Pretty easy, pretty bland. So the thing with centerpieces, I, I always find that using two colors is the best way forward. Don't get me wrong, you can do it with multiple colors, but I don't, but yeah. So I usually do be 000, zero, zero, zero. It'll give you this sort of red. And I'd also flick it around and choose the white. A bit of a weird one. And then we're gonna select our layout. Filter, filter gallery. Okay. So nice and easy. Bang. We've got our colour. Right, and we're gonna go to the black. We can put the background on. Cool. Now we're gonna go save as. NG. I've already saved this, so I'm gonna go with that. Go there. What if I don't want that one? I'm gonna go to our substance player. I'm gonna run the patch tool. Choose our location. Nice and easy. He says. Let's generate that one. As you can see now, that comes out. You can get the majority of it. Now, this is your best friend with this. So the lower you make that, the more that pops. Nice and easy. It makes it pop a hell of a lot more the more you fuck about with it. You can even make it like black like you, you were doing before, but that gets rid of all the stitch effect. So for example, if we wanted to do I don't know, like let's keep it with the weird. Keep that red. I believe it's that one. And black. Now I'm not a big fan of it personally, so I'm gonna go white. And then I'm going to knock this all the way up. And what I sometimes like to do is to bring the white out a bit more to fill in the gaps. Like so. Then we also go to that, go to that. And then do it with some of that. And there's your little centerpiece. All pops out really well. You can do the same with this. So yeah, so that's how I personally do it. I mean, on oh, no, oh, that to get rid of the black effect. And that's your centerpiece, ish. And I'd up the quality. This will get really bright now. So depending on how you want it. So that's to me, that's that's too much. I I don't appreciate that sort of stuff. So we decrease the brightness of that. Increase that. Decrease that, decrease that. We'll do the same up here. All depends what you guys want. So as you can that's more stitchy now. And then if you knock it down to one two four, for example, it'll look more stitchy. Knock it back to five twelve again. Feels really stitchy. It all depends on what you're going for. I know some people like their patches that stick out a lot. For me personally, I think that's a pretty good one. That's what I'd go for personally. Now, I'm going to show you a little trick because I know some people don't just like two colors. So, Control Z this, Control Z this. So they open with the eyes changing to a different color. This is personally how I do it. It's a bit of an odd one. You can also just remember the RGB color, but I always forget because I'm useless. So if I copy this LSPD logo and I'm going to color pick this blue. Now, for some reason, I haven't figured it out myself. These blue tend to work. And then what I'm also going to do is select this. I'm going to select the eyes. I'm going to control J. Then I'm going to paint these eyes in this blue. Make sure we get all the eye. Like so. I'm just going to hide that layer. Now because I've changed the white, I'm just going to put that back to white. I'm going to go to this. I'm going to go to our filter gallery again. Filter gallery. Bang. Put that on again. I'm going to put the eyes over the top. This back to black. And then we're going to go to the PNG. We're going to overwrite this. 
but fingers crossed this works. So now you can see the eyes are a completely different color. So now we can go to the orange. We can add the eyes to be a different color. So if we wanted black eyes, for example. Or if you wanted bright red eyes. You can have three different colors. It all depends on what you guys want. And different color. You just have to mess around with the different colors. Because there's some that work. Some one day. There's some that don't work the next day. It's just. Laugh about with it guys. Have some fun with it. But that is the base of how you do it. Hopefully that makes sense. Obviously now you just export this back onto the other bit. It's nice and easy. This has been Jackverse guys. Any more video suggestions. Don't forget to ask in the discord. I try to be as active as I can in there. Don't get me wrong. I get busy. People get busy. It's the way it is. Appreciate you watching. It's been Jack Wilson. I'm out.